It's time for our post-game show brought to you by Aria Health, the Landolfi's Deli, by the Johnson Chiropractic Center and the Trenton Freedom. And this is the victorious Falcons winning tonight 31-3. Tonight's players get a complimentary pizza from Varelli's Yardley Pizza at 20 South Main Street in Yardley. Well, let's first talk to Rob Daly. Uh, and Rob, early in the ball game, you came through with that that pick, that interception that went for a touchdown, that kind of set the tone. Tell us how that, that play came about for you. I just read my man coming down the corner. And I just went and played the ball and tried to beat the quarterback down the end zone. Now, we mentioned that during the course of the, the season that you guys on the defensive side were improving each and every game. And without a doubt, I've seen improvement steadily every ball game, and I think really this was the best you guys have played. You have what is what it's been like for you guys to improve like you have from the beginning till now? It's been great. We've been working hard in practice all day. We had guys go down, we had guys fill up, and again, work, working hard and getting the victories. When did you feel, you know, against this team, you know they can they can also put up a lot of points like you did. You guys put up one, you put up 38 a game, they put up 37 a game. Uh, when did you feel that you you know you felt comfortable about this game? And not even till the end, really. Because this team is a good team; they can score whenever they want. But today we held them, did our job, and got that victory. And you know what it also means, of course, you won the Suburban One League National Conference for the second year in a row. Yes, Last year it was seven nothing. This time you won it and could relax maybe in that fourth quarter a little bit. A little, close to the end, we got to relax a little, but still great victory for the team, SOL champs. All right, so we got as as Bill said from Varelli's Pizza, we got a pizza for you. We got your shirt there, of course, which is the Trenton Freedom going to be playing starting in March. Thank and you. of course, we also have as well a shirt for you there from Aria Health. You have the hats on from Aria as well. Thank you. Want to talk to this guy a little bit now too, and that's Breon Clark. Breon. Tell me a little bit about how this game, the way it got started. It, it seemed like in the first quarter of play, even though you had the lead, you got a touchdown with the Rob's interception for a TD. You got a field goal. Things are looking good for you on the scoreboard, but you couldn't move the ball. What was the difference in who, not moving it the first quarter and yet moving it after that? You know, um, that, Miami's definitely a tough team, man. We just had to get the guys fired up and start getting the offense going. Defense was doing the job, so we had a couple hours of offense. I know one of the things, that, and I knew that going into the ball game, Chuck Norway was not 100% going into the game. But I'll tell you what, he, he's a gutsy ball player. He gutted it out for you. And again, Chuck and then Raheem got going, and, and of course Thompson and you. What is it about the four of you guys that, that it just seems that you know you guys can come through with the big plays? We have a, a, lot, of, a lot of tough, physically and mentally kids on our team, and our backfield is really strong for in our offense this year. And we're just proud to express my story. When you look at it right now, uh, of course, I'm going to I'm going to look ahead maybe a, a week from now. You're going to be in the playoffs, you know that. But the nice thing about this victory is you're probably, if had you lost, you're probably going to be dropping down to where you might have been down as five, six, seven or so, maybe even number eight, depending on what everybody else does. But this could boost you up to around third, which could possibly, if you get that first win, give you more games here at home. Yeah, it's definitely a great win for a big crowd because we love to come back at home. I feel like it's more comfortable at home to get wins and victories. So when this game is a big deal. You know, last year, as we mentioned, you were doing a job for this team as a guy, as a quarterback coming in here. And I mentioned when I, I first saw you play and how much you have improved. How do you feel about this season coming in and getting to this point compared to the way it was a year ago? You know, this season they put us down a lot. They said um, it's our rebuilding year, but I knew th from the start that it's like it's going to be our year that we're going to do it again. We just go farther than the playoffs this year. Well, I'll tell you what, you guys have proved it. And like I said, this team has improved each and every game. And I think really when you look at them and when you see what that Easton game, I think just let them know that, hey, this is what you're going to have to do. This is how you're going to have to play. Even in that game, they got 28 points on the board. We knew the offense was going to be good. But I'll tell you what, this defense has come around. They showed it tonight. When you limit Nishamani to three points on the scoreboard, no touchdowns, you have really done a job. Yeah. This team is averaging 37 points a game. Yes, sir. I'm just glad that we finally get our respect. You know, all season they've been hyping the Sham. The Sham's a great team, but we just wanted to get our sole title back and our name back. Well, congratulations. Of course, we're going to have for you as well a Varelli's Pizza. Of course, you do have as well the uh, shirt there from the uh, Freedom. And, of course, the Freedom going to be ready to uh, play. Hopefully next year in March, they'll be uh, the Trenton Freedom will be playing some indoor football. You get a chance to go over and watch some football. I definitely will. And then yes, come sir. out next season and play again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right, congratulations on the SOL championship for both of these guys here and, of course, for their team.
as Breon Clark along with Rob Daly have a lot to say about the outcome of this championship game tonight. All right, this has been our post-game show brought to you by Aria Health. Great game, John. Thank you.